The other product I'm going to mention is this, uh, this two from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I already did uh, the review on these two products, the serum and the cream, Magic Cream and Magic Serum. Uh, it, those didn't work for me because they, those are also products that peel on my skin. So those products are not compatible with my skin. Um, I want, I didn't want to believe it, that they were the ones peeling on my skin, <laughs> but they did. So I applied the serum and the cream and when they begin to dry or oh, my skin don't absorb them and they, I think my skin absorbed the water or whatever it is in the product. And then when the product begins to dry, it begins to peel when I, um, when I apply makeup, when I was trying to apply makeup. So I decided to use them as mask during the night. So I finished using the serum, but I gave the rest of the cream to my daughter because uh, when they, the creams don't work for me, they do work for her. She's 22 years old. So that's why I'm saying sometimes maybe the creams is not that it's no good, but it's no good for my skin. I'm over 40, so and I have dry skin. So maybe they don't work for me because to my daughter, the magic cream works good. She already finished it, but and I finished the serum. The serum I use it like like I mentioned before. I use it during the night as a as a leave-on mask because it doesn't matter if it peel in the morning. I wash it, but I'm not going to buy it again. And I cannot recommend if you are over forty with dry skin to buy it or to purchase these two product without trying them. So that is my uh, my advice to you is buy the smaller size and try them before because after 30 days it's very difficult for you to return it to whatever store you purchase it so that's it for charlotte tilbury my cream and my serum let me tell you a little bit more about uh, the copari coconut mail i already mentioned before the copari coconut mail i don't recommend it because even if you put it in the fridge uh, and you want to use it quick after shower, it's already solidified and it's very hard. And you have to put it in the water, warm water for it to, to melt a little and then apply it to your skin. It's very inconvenient. So I definitely don't recommend the Copari Coconut Melt. <laughs> the other product I don't recommend is that um, if you have dry skin, the Dior Skin Nude, uh, this uh, Dior Skin Nude Air Foundation. If you have dry skin, I don't recommend it because it will suck up your moisture <laughs> and your skin will look older because it will, it's like it dries, this one dries my skin and it looks, my ring, my face looks more full of wrinkles. I think it's because of the dryness. It's like it, it drink up my moisture and it leaves my skin like a very old wrinkly skin. So I didn't like this one. This is a beauty and I cannot return it. I don't think this is available here in the USA. I purchased this on Amazon from the Dior on Amazon. I think it was a Dior store. I don't know if it was an old product or... It doesn't seem to be like an old product because it looks new and it was sealed. It had a plastic seal. So uh, I think this one is, is good for younger uh, skin and maybe combination or oily skin because this one probably will mattify on your skin. But for dry skin over 40, I don't recommend this. If, I don't know if it's available in your own where you live. Uh, I bought it at Amazon. I don't think they have it available on the website in the U.S. Maybe it's available in some other countries. But I do not, I do not recommend this Dior Skin Nude Air Foundation for dry skin. I have another option for dry skin from Dior. Uh, this one, that's the one that I'm wearing right now. Is this Dior Air Flash Foundation? This is good for dry skin. 
This one doesn't dry my skin and it leaves my skin looking really nice. Right now I'm wearing this uh, Glow uh, SPF 40 underneath this uh, Dior Flies. That's why my skin look a little bit shiny. <laughs> I didn't want to apply too much makeup. Just I just apply the Glow screen, uh, sunscreen and also the foundation and I didn't apply anything else because I want, uh, I want, I'm testing sunscreens. So the other products um, I don't recommend at all and it's a waste of money is this Dior Eyelash Curler. <laughs> Another product from Dior. I love Dior products, but this one, it was a completely fail because this one pulled my lashes. When I tried to curl my lashes, it pulled them and it hurts. So I have barely few eyelashes and they are very thin and very short. I cannot <laughs> wear this because it pulled my lashes out and it leaves the spaces there so and it hurts. So I don't recommend this one at all. If I can give zero stars, I will give zero stars. Plus, so it's not that convenient because I like the ones when you put the finger in and, and you don't, you don't, um, and you're not afraid, like I'm not afraid to use it. And when I'm using it, it get out of my fingers and then pull all my lashes out. So <laughs> I didn't think uh, that this one was, was very inconvenient when I purchased it. I thought that it was the, the from the ore, it was going to be good. But even if it's from the ore, and even if I like some other, uh, make a product from Dior. This one, I don't recommend it. So don't buy this, it's not good. Especially if you have shorter lashes, very uh, thin lashes and very hard to curl lashes. And you see, I'm not lucky at all to have a lot of lashes. I'm lucky to have a very few, <laughs> very few lashes and very thin and easy to fall. So when I, I got, I tried to curl my lashes with this. It pulled them out and they hurt a lot. So I'm not using this anymore. And I cannot return it because um, I bought it at Sephora and the time to return passed. So I was trying to give them a few chances, but uh, the lashes, uh, <laughs> I can, uh, the lashes, you, I will find them here sticking to this little thing. So <laughs> I don't recommend this at all. So don't buy this unless you have a lot of lashes and you and you don't care if a few fall. <laughs> and you don't care if this will pull a few of them. So uh, that's it for this. I don't recommend this. It's a beauty fail for me. Uh, the other product that I'm going, I'm going to mention, uh, this I won't consider a fail because I didn't purchase it. Uh, this was sent to me by Natura and this one is not that, that the product is a fail. I, it, I just didn't like uh, the fragrance. This product smells good and even when I smell it, I like my mind think that this smells really good, but when I apply it to my body, it's too much. <laughs> I have used it twice on my body when I took a shower. One was at night time and I couldn't uh, sleep good that night because the fragrance is too strong and in the morning I still uh, feel the smell of the fragrance. This is called Maracuya, Maracuya Triple Face Shower Oil. And this, I won't tell you not to buy it and I won't tell you I don't recommend. This was sent complimentary to me in exchange of a review. And it smells good. It's just that it smells very, very strong. And even if I like how it leaves my skin, it leaves my skin very soft and very uh, fragrant. 
it is too much fragrance for me so i won't tell you not to buy it or to go and buy it because that is up to you if you like mm, the smell of the maracuja and brazilian products uh, this these products are good they have good ingredients like i mentioned so many times i like brazilian products because they use ingredients from the amazon ingredients that only grow there in that part of the world so uh, this is uh, made with good ingredients the problem to me is the fragrance i have problems with products that have a lot of fragrance so, so this one didn't work for me for the fragrance but it's really good for uh, maybe people who doesn't mind fragrance on the uh, on their shower product i prefer a products a product with uh to for my bath time that is fragrance free or another type of relaxing fragrance this is a very fr uh, bright smell definitely not to sleep <laughs> but maybe if you're going to the beach and and you want to smell fresh and bright uh, or maybe if it's a very hot day and you want to, to smell fresh and bright, this will be very good. But for me, it didn't work. Um, this is the maracuja from the line Echo Strong Natura. Uh, it's, it smells really good, but it's not for me. Uh, let me see if there's another product on my list. So I think that's it for my beauty fails. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I already, no, I don't think I have mentioned this. Another beauty fail. This is from Bumble and Bumble. This is a hair gel. I, uh, this, is a, this is another fail. I couldn't return it to Sephora because it took me long to do the unboxing. I wanted to do the unboxing video and then that was my mistake the time to return it passed so i couldn't i couldn't return it the thing i don't like about this bumble and bumble both bb gel uh this coating gel for hair is because uh they say this one won't leave you uh white it won't leave your hair white when it dries it's supposed to have a clear finish but this one it doesn't have a clear finish at all uh-uh <laughs> i'm wearing it right now but i don't want to to touch it because i don't want uh it's still early and i don't want my hair to look like i have poor a lot of baby power on my hair so and i use it today because i wanted to do the video with my hair up and also because i'm going to wash my hair tomorrow so and i and i haven't replaced this one so i like to use a hair gel in summer because i like to do my hair up in on summer because it's hot here in texas so um but this one didn't work at all i wanted to try something new i um, um used the l'oreal i don't remember the name of the one i use every year and that works excellent for me even after i remove uh, my my uh, after when I put my hair down with the um, uh, gel hair gel and then I comb my hair or I brush my hair I don't have any white um, residue on it but with this one as soon as I touch it and if I move my my if I want to remove my my hair bands and I <laughs> and lose my hair and comb it or, or or brush it oh my god it will look like if i have poor a lot of baby power on my hair so <laughs> or if i have dandruff so i don't like it i don't recommend this one i'm sure they probably have some other better products but this one didn't work for me and it will leave uh, uh it won't it won't leave a clear finish it will dry with a clear finish it will dry white <laughs> and, it, and it will leave your hair with a, with a white I don't know, I already touched it I don't know if it already became white <laughs> so I don't recommend this product and I think that's my last product uh, beauty fail product I have a bunch of other um, empties and my next video will be an empties product uh, video so I can tell you a little bit 
about the products I like and the products that haven't worked for me and the products that have works uh, good for me. So this pro this video was about all my beauty fails and uh, products that I won't purchase again, products that I have already returned, products I have gave away, and products that are good, but I don't like their fragrance or something on them. So that's it for this video. I hope it's somewhat of help to you. And see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. I will bring you an empties video soon. <laughs> Bye.